All right, guys, after my uh, crash on the uh, Corsair here, and I took the cowling off to make sure the uh, motor mount was okay and everything looks fine with it, I noticed a little problem. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Hopefully you can. Inside here on the wires, these are not markings here. What I found is from the stock setup. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Maybe it'll look better. Um, on the stock setup, the speed control wires here were pushed all the way against the back part of the motor right there that spins. As you can see, I'm spinning it by hand now. These wires were pushed all the way up, at, up, in, up against the back of the motor. Now you can see the slit there, the slit there, and a real deep one. Let's see if I can get it for you. Here on the red wire know how close I can get um, I'm on the red wire there and I just noticed this when I pulled it apart uh, let's see there's there's another good one there um, I don't believe this is from the crash because right when I hit I you know engine was killed it was off actually right in my wingtip hit I killed the uh, killed the engine um, I looked in the speed control is placed right where it should be. I've already pulled the wires back. They were all riding straight up against the back of the uh, of the engine there on that spinner. And it's a it's a pretty smooth surface in there, but over time it is starting to chew through those wires. And this red one here, I'm trying to get it to where I can show you, is really bad. Bad enough that I'm probably going to pull that out and replace it. And since I got it apart, I'm probably going to go ahead and upgrade this. Uh, probably I'm going to put a 60 amp um, ESC in it and uh, probably go ahead and throw a bigger motor on it, uh, figure out what kind of prop I need to go with and just kind of speed it out a little bit, reinforce the bottom of the wing with uh, some more glass carbon, ro carbon rod um, spars that I'm just going to cut a little V out into, sink them in there and, and epoxy them in. But, uh, yeah, while I was just looking everything over, um, I just kind of noticed that the stock position that they kind of had it hot melted in there and, and stuck in there, all those wires were up against the back of the motor. So, something you might want to keep an eye on if you're having problems with your motor, because from what I can see, the red has been through all the way to bare wire. Um, the blue has started, has not gotten to bare wire yet, and it looks like my black wire, a little bit of wear, but, but no, no, uh, no cutting through on that yet. So that's just a little something I noticed. I wanted to throw your guys' way. Um, might want to pop the cowl off on your, uh, Corsair here and take a look and make sure that when the engine's spinning and the back part of that is spinning that these wires aren't coming in contact with that because mine were a few more flights and that red wire would have probably cut through and shorted out and well that would have probably led to led to some bad things so all I did really was uh, right now temporary was I just pulled my wires in a little bit we got plenty of room it doesn't interfere with the battery just kinda pulled the speed control up pulled the wires through and when you do that, it clears pretty much everything, zoom in here, from the back of that engine, or the motor there. So, uh, something to keep an eye on. I just kind of noticed it, and want to know if any of you guys had that same problem, as far as losing wires back there, because I've not modified this. The crash was the first time I took the cowl off, and I noticed that immediately. So, uh, just a little FYI. You guys might want to take a peek at yours and make sure those wires aren't rubbing up against there because looks like I'm going to have to pull that out and uh, replace and resolder on a couple wires if I don't replace the motor. But since I'm going to have to do that much work anyways, I might as well, since I got my parts already ordered, got everything pretty much fixed up, just waiting on some parts, and I'm probably just going to go ahead and soup this thing up a little bit. So uh, just a little, little thing to look out for you guys, a little problem I found here. Um, my version, you'll hear about the other problem on a nose crash. Probably won't be able to see it too well if I can get it in there. 
against the firewall there's a screw coming in on the back that's a little bit long it is on their website as a warning some versions have been fixed depending on the date you purchase some have not I checked this one it does have the rubber grommet on it to protect the screw um, but I still put a little bit of padding back there just in case of another hard nose crash landing anything like that but yeah mainly just wanted to bring those wires to attention because uh, as you can see if I can get this focused in that red one is almost halfway through I mean there's bare wire right there so uh, I'm going to go ahead and rip this all apart and, and get to get to resoldering and putting on new bullet connectors and all that kind of stuff and uh, at least get the stock part fixed back up so when I'm ready to swap these out it's not going to be a big deal but uh, just want to let you guys know. Thanks.